This is Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Good morning to y'all. I'm gonna do a little video right quick. There's been a lot of interest in this cooker right here. So uh, I'm gonna do a video. I'll show you what it is, what it's about, what you can do with it. It's, uh, it's really could be used as four cookers in one. It could be used as a grill. It could be used as a Santa Maria. It can be used as a rotisserie. And it could be used the way it's designed as an offset because it has two stacks on it. And I'm gonna show you what it is, okay? Mine is all quarter inch, uh, all quarter inch steel on the body. A lot of guys are doing 3 16 I do quarter. 3 16 is fine, but I do quarter. I'm gonna always go a little thicker because that's just how I roll. But anyway, it's a 24 by 48 with a full lid. This cooker here is taller than your regular Santa Maria's. It has a taller lid than the regular Santa Maria's. So don't get it confused with the regular Santa Maria. There's many upgrades, several upgrades on this cooker. Uh, it's, you know, I'm gonna show you right now what the deal is. Number one is, right here, I've got different places I can put the grates. I can go up high, down, low, whatever. I can take this grate right here and put down real low, put a fire in it with some wood chunks, close this stack, open that, open that stack, draft it that way, have a couple of butts, two or three butts in there, ribs, and use it as an offset if I wanted to do that, or a coal smoker, or whatever you wanted to do. That's another option. So anyway, this, it has ash fans right here, ash fans right here that, that uh, come out. Uh, these come out, I can go right up here, go this high with it. If I want to use it as a grill, direct grill. Several different slots, several different things right there. So I'll go ahead and we'll just leave it set up just like that for now. Uh, the doors, the doors are gasket. I'm gonna open up like here. Come over here, Sharon. You just have the upgra upgraded round bar grate right here. Come over here, sweet. Right here, you see how close the fire is right here? So you could just use it as a grill and direct cook. You could be direct cooking here, grilling here, grilling over here, not so close to the meat. Okay, you can do it that way. Or you can go Santa Maria style and raise it up. It goes just like this. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Santa Maria style. Now, what I'm going to show you is uh, is the uh, hookup for the for the uh, rotisserie. It's pretty easy to do, guys. I'm not uh, I'm not here at first on it. It's Ross Tyler's brother who designed this and put it together on the rotisserie side. But it goes just like this. You can pop this in there. Easy setup. Boom. Just like that. Uh, let me get this going. See, you might, I'm kind of fumble-fingered a little bit. Uh, Lord, help me get this wing nut on here. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there's your rotisserie set up there. When you go rotisserie style, you can grate the grate up out of the way. You can go real high with that grate. That's, that ends on. You come right over here. Very simple to do. Grab this set up. Both already tacked on, so y'all know how that is. That's how we roll. We're going to make it easy for you. Uh, let me get right here. Again, guys, I'm not at first. I'm just eyeballing level with each other. It can be leveled up perfectly later. Uh, I'm not at first with this. Doggone it. I left the motor in there, I think. All right, guys. I'm not at first with this. So let me get the motor right quick out of my tube. Come on over here, Jerry. You, you see the little tube room in here. I got my little tube room that I've set up. And, uh... I got my two room set up right here. I'm sorry I had to get off the video. Come over here. Go back right over here. All right. You just grab the motor right here. Put it on. Just like that. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Just like this. Well, hold on. God, y'all don't laugh at me. I'm trying to get this thing right. Ross is going to set this up. My bad. I'm sorry. I've never done it. Ross told me how to do it. Then you just come over here, get you, get you uh, your rotisserie right here, stick it in, go just like that, boom, and then boom, just like this. So then uh, you can you can run this up just like this, where it goes, lock it in, and guys, it can be done a lot quicker than I'm doing it. Uh, like that. Now you're set up to do, use your rotisserie right there. You can, it's supposed to have two sets of forts. I ordered one, they sent me the wrong one. But anyway, you can run your forts in and out. 
uh, however you want to run them, run your rotisserie like that. Uh, uh, that'll stay right on in there. Get a little, you know, you get get a little weight on it, just a little bit of weight. I mean, they'll go anyway. But uh, that's the setup right there. Easy to remove this, guys. You just take it out, take this out again. Set it off. I'll be quicker now. Set it off. Take take this out of the way. Boom, boom, boom. That's gone. Come right over here. Boom. This right here. Uh, naturally, when you're using a rotisserie, you, you've got to, uh, anyway, have the, and it's got, let me go ahead and get the motor off. I should have took it off first, probably. And then you just top it. Right. You've got to finesse it. I'm sorry, finesse it there. It's easy, but I'm making it a little difficult. So there you are right there on your Santa Maria setup. If you want to get down on the same level right there, you take this out, put that in. You can be even with your grates right there. Come back. Move it up. Get back down where you want to be with your Santa Maria. Right here. And uh, there you go, right there. That's the setup right there. Pretty easy setup. Like I said, round bar grates the way to go. Like I get, like I said, check your builder. This is all quarter inch deal right here. Ain't no three sixteenths. The level gauge top, which is fine. But uh, I just go, I just go quarter inch. That's just what I do. Got another big one going on over there. But all cool touch stainless steel handles. Uh, it does have. You're gonna look and see. It's got two sw sets of swivel casters, and the gentleman wanted it like that because it's going into a brick. Uh, area that he's building a uh, a outdoor kitchen, so he wanted to be able to swivel it in there and get it just like he wanted. That'll go in there, and then he's got the trailer rig right here. That uh, it's 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 a nice little setup. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, but again, brown bar break can't go wrong with that. You can remember you can grill with it. You can use it as a, as a rotisserie. You can use it as a Santa Maria. You can use it as an offset. And you can use it as a coal smoker. Put you a little fire over there. If you're doing a pork belly cure, a couple of pork bellies or whatever, put you a small fire over there. Open this stack over on the right side. Fire's on the left. Draft across. Perfect, man. Again, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, if you got any questions about it, you can email me. No, I don't have a Shirley Fabrication email me. You can hit me up on Messenger on Facebook or wherever I shut my Shirley Fabrication email down. Just had shoulder replacement. How many weeks ago, Sharon? Eight weeks tomorrow. Boom! There it is. So it's better. It's better. I just spit on that video. But anyway, <laughs> close that down right there. Oh, it's got eyebrows on the gauges. So, it, guys, it took any Shirley Fabrication gauges or three-inch tail truths calibrated. A lot of guys don't have calibratable gauges. These are five inch. If you want a gauge bigger than three inch, I'll put the couplings in it, the 3,000 pound couplings in there that'll accept any gauge. You just send me the gauges because I don't know exactly what you want. So if you want anything besides the Shirley Tail True gauges, uh, which are, are on our cookers as an upgrade, uh, or you'll have River Country, or you can just send me the bigger gauges. I'll have you, don't let them send your installation kit. You won't need that. But anyway, there it is, guys. Uh, Paul with Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I did a little different finish on this cooker. Come here, Jerry. Don't know if you can see it. It's kind of got just a little texture to it. Just a little texture on the coat and back off now. Just a little bit of texture right there. I think it'll hold up better. Anyway, that's what I did, and that's what I'm going to do on most of my cookers now. But anyway, uh, man, we're approaching Christmas. Y'all remember what the season is? We believe it's... Uh, about a savior that was born, he came to save us. You don't believe like me? I ain't trying to persuade you, dude. Believe what you want to believe. But uh, I am what I am, and I believe what I believe. We out of here.